Sometimes seeing your design on a flat 2D surface just isn't enough. Often, it's better for you and clients to see it in its context. This is where Live Surface comes in. Live Surface allows you to show your artwork in its actual environment by giving you templates of banners on buses, posters in train stations, blank coffee bags, and more. But the process of getting your artwork onto the Live Surface template can be tricky. The preferred workflow is to build the design in Illustrator and then add it to the Live Surface template. This is because the majority of print design and professional printers prefer Illustrator files. However, in this video, I'll show you how to add artwork to your Live Surface file from both Illustrator and Photoshop. Let's start first with the Illustrator and the preferred method. Now, when I say it should be built in Illustrator, it doesn't necessarily mean that everything has to be built in Illustrator. It just means that your final design should be all done in Illustrator. So for instance, I have this picture of a model and we want to have a billboard that says stand out. So in order to make her stand out, we wanted to do some photo editing by making her environment black and white and leaving her in color and then kind of fading out this extra visual noise so that we can add our message and our logo here. Now because we're editing a photo, it makes more sense to do that in Photoshop and that's perfectly okay because then what we're going to do is we're going to add that photo to our Illustrator file and build the rest of the billboard inside Illustrator. Let's go ahead and minimize Photoshop so we can see this. Now with every live surface template that you get, it's going to give you at least two files. It'll give you the template, which is a TIFF file, and TIFF files can be opened in Photoshop. And it's going to give you an AI or Illustrator file that's going to give you sizing guidelines. So here's our billboard, and we've already done some building to it. We've added our message and our logo, and we actually have a white square in the background so that we can make sure that the integrity of our billboard works with our picture on the actual Life Surface template. So what we need to do here is all this stuff is better to be built in Illustrator because it's a vector, and again, this is what printers pr prefer. But that photo we need to get in here, and it was better to do that in Photoshop, and that's okay. Let's just go File, Place, and choose that photo, and add it in. And it's going to be massive. Well, it, I guess it just really depends on what picture you're using. But it's okay if it's bigger. We just need to resize it and put it on our billboard. And I can already tell I have a problem. I needed to put that on the photo layer. So there we go. That is our billboard. So now we just need to open up this TIFF file in Photoshop in order to get it on our billboard and see it in context. Now on a PC, you might double click a TIFF and it'll open up in Photoshop for you. But on a Mac, for some reason, sometimes when you click on the TIFF, it's going to open it up in the preview program. So if you right click on it, you can choose to open it with Adobe Photoshop, and that's what we want to have happen. So this is where it gets kind of tricky, because we need to actually copy our artwork twice. One, to turn it from vector to pixels, and then we need to copy the pixels again so that we can put them on this billboard artwork layer. Now notice that the Live Surface template has already organized the layers for you, and it has some special effects, so you can take the vignette off if you want to. And we have object image, and this is the actual billboard itself, and it has some gradient to look like natural lighting. And then we have the billboard and it's masked, and this is where we're going to put our artwork. Here's where you can come and add solid color if you wanted to change the color of the billboard in Photoshop itself. But for now, we just need to get it from Illustrator into this template. So what we're going to do is go back to Illustrator and make sure all of the layers that we want to copy are unlocked highlight all of them, copy them with Command C or Control C on a PC, and then I'm going to click at the very top of my layers panel so that when I paste, it's going to paste it as a new layer at the very top. So I'll do Command V or Control V on a PC, and it's going to ask me, because it's coming from Illustrator into Photoshop, how do we want to paste it? And we actually just want to paste it as pixels. So make sure pixels is selected, and then click OK. So there's our actual billboard. 
Now I could make it bigger or smaller. I'll just make it a tad bit bigger. We're not actually gonna keep this layer. We just did that so that we could convert all of that artwork into pixels. Now we need to copy it again so we can use the vanishing point filter. So with that layer selected, we're gonna hold the command or control key on a PC and click on the thumbnail icon for that layer and it's gonna select everything on that layer. We're gonna copy it and then I don't, I don't need that layer anymore. I can delete it, I can turn the visibility off, I can deselect it and what I need to do is go to the blank layer called billboard artwork, go to filter and choose vanishing point. And they've already built the vanishing point for you. So now all I have to do is hit paste, so command V or control V on a PC and then drag that artwork directly onto my billboard. So it's not big enough yet, and that's okay. Once I get it kind of positioned where I want, I can do Command T or Control T on a PC and stretch it out. And depending on how big it is, it might take a little bit of processing speed, so be a little bit patient with it. So I'm thinking that looks pretty good. I'll click OK. And there is my finished billboard. So now I can see that artwork in context. Now that doesn't mean that you couldn't build all of this in Photoshop itself. If I come over here, I had two pictures that I actually wanted to combine into a couple and I wanted to add my message and my logo. And so all of this is, this at least, is Photoshop work because we're manipulating photos. But again, it would be more ideal to bring this into Illustrator and then add all this there and maybe my gradient background. But if you want to, you could actually build all this stuff in Photoshop. The trick with this is that we actually need to create one layer with all of the other layers merged at the very top. So let me show you how to do that with a quick and easy keyboard shark shortcut. Turn all the layers on in terms of visibility that you want to create into this merged layer. And then you're going to put Shift, Option, Command, E, or if you're on a PC, that's Shift, Alt, Control, E. And that is going to take all the layers you have that are visible and merge them into one layer at the very top. So if I turn all those off, now we just have this one layer with all of that artwork merged. But if we ever need to go back and make any adjustments, those are all still there too. So what I need to do is copy this. So the first thing I'm going to do is Command or Control A, and that's going to select everything in that image. And now I'll, I'll do Command C to copy it. Now I just need to find my new billboard and that's all the way back here. And so this new billboard I need to open in Photoshop. And I'm going to come back here to this couple. And because it's already pixels and I was taking it from a Photoshop file, I don't have to paste it into a new layer and then recopy it. That's only when it's coming in from Illustrator. So now I can click on that billboard artwork layer, go to filter, vanishing point, and then hit paste. And again, if the picture's really big, this might take quite a lot of time. So I'll do Command T to transform it. And don't forget to hold Shift so that it stays in proportion. So this looks like it was a pretty darn big picture. And don't worry about the fact that right now, it's not showing any of the shine or the lighting effects and it's kind of covering up those lights at the bottom. We're going to fix that when we get out of this vanish point filter. So position it exactly the way you want it and then click OK. And then all of a sudden with that masking that they've already created for the billboard, you can see these lights at the bottom. You can see the shine from the lights at the top. And thankfully with this design, we designed it well enough that it did actually fit. But that's a problem with starting in Photoshop is that you didn't have that sizing guide that you did in Illustrator. So sometimes it won't fit and you'll have to go back and tweak it, remerge it, recopy it, and put it back in here.